Hello YouTube, this is Al once again for Kindred Souls of Brooklyn. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please subscribe, I really appreciate it. Um, thank you for taking some time to uh, check out this video. I'm in a very scenic spot here in Staten Island, and today I want to discuss um, the Planet of the Apes movies. Um, if you haven't already seen them, now I'm talking about the original movies, not the reboots that were done in the early 2000s. I'm talking about the ones that were made starting in 1968 with uh, Charlton Heston. Um, essentially, a lot of things about the movies that folks don't realize, um, one of the most incredible things about the movie was that it was also co-written by Rod Serling, which was uh, also people have known is famous for his work on The Twilight Zone. Um, also, one thing that folks don't realize too is that during this movie series, you know, today it's commonplace for us to see Star Wars movies or Marvel movies or um, DC movies or any kind of thing with movie tie-ins. In fact, you know, there's so many strange things like McDonald's, for instance, is the biggest toy distributor in the world. Nobody would really realize that, but um, as far as a little history goes, Planet of the Apes was the first movie ever to do movie tie-ins. Now, this happened back in about 1973. The original movie started in uh, 1968, and that starred Charlton Heston and Roddy McDowell. Uh, a lot of famous uh, actors were in that movie. Um, if you haven't seen it, I highly suggest it. There's something that happens at the end of Planet of the Apes, which is so incredibly iconic. I remember watching that movie when I was about four years old, and um, not to throw any spoilers in there, but uh, because we, you know, I come from New York, um, there was just a scene of some iconic image that everyone associates with New York at the end of this movie um, that was just so incredible. I don't think I've ever really had that kind of experience at a movie before where I actually saw something that just made me like take a deep breath and say, holy cow, you know? But if you're not really too familiar with the movies, um, just a quick little understanding of the movies. Basically, you have a group of astronauts who travels in space and they're going on a mission and they go into uh, hypersleep for like six months and and they end up you know staying asleep for a longer amount of time but somehow they go into a time warp and they show up on a planet that's actually ruled by apes now what folks don't realize in chaos if you haven't seen the movies this is a spoiler um, all the whole time they're actually uh, they're actually on earth and they don't realize this till the very end so that's part of the fun of the movie but the acting was incredible and uh, like I was telling you before Planet of the Apes was so groundbreaking. It was filmed, of course, in 68, which was the height of the Vietnam War. There was a, a lot of problems in America with race relations, so a lot of people made the correlations between um, uh, the apes and the humans. And of course, the um, you know the apes were in charge, but inside of the ape culture, the uh, the orangutans were kind of like the politicians, the chimpanzees were the uh, scientists, and the gorillas were the soldiers. So you had like a really interesting class breakdown uh, along those lines. So very incredible movies. Now in my own personal uh, experience, uh, I remember being a kid and of course what kid really wants to go shopping wasn't my favorite thing. One day my mom turned around and said, okay, we have to go to King's Plaza and uh, we're going to Alexander's. And Alexander's went out of business back in the 80s. It was a great store. It was, um, I guess, kind of along the way of a Target or a Kohl's. It wasn't quite on the level of Macy's, but there was Alexander's in Kings Plaza, which was the uh, mall that's closest to me in Brooklyn. And uh, I went there kind of not really kicking and screaming, but like, eh, kind of protesting a little bit, thinking I was going to go there and have to walk through clothes and, you know, try stuff on. So anyway, we walked into Alexander's, and this was in the year 1973. And of course, I love Planet of the Apes, and uh, had some of the toys, but this was when they did the big movie tie-in. And I showed up, and my mom bought me a couple of toys, but the piece de resistance, uh, which is kind of French, and I'm using that because the original Planet of the Apes movie was inspired by, uh, by a French uh, short story, but anyway, I showed up in there, and who's in there? The star of the movie, Roddy McDowell, in full ape makeup. Now, you know, today, you know, you, things are done with CGI, and, he, and there's a lot of different improvements they've made with prosthetics and things like that. But back in 1973, to see somebody who looked exactly like an ape, and to see him in the same outfit that he was in uh, during the movie, was just totally incredible. It was the biggest, probably, the biggest surprise of my life. And um, 
I actually still have home some uh, autographed uh, pictures that he signed that he, that he was handing out to promote the movie and uh, it was just totally incredible but like I say if you haven't seen these movies I highly suggest you watching them they are really incredible um, the first one with Charlton Heston was the best and then after that the quality kind of went down a little bit um, probably out of the five that they made one of the ones that was the, really the best one was Escape from the Planet of the Apes which was a very good movie I thought and uh, which pretty much dealt with Cornelius and Zira here on earth going around like celebrities it also starred Ricardo Montalban and uh, it kind of sets the stage for the ape takeover but again not to put too many spoilers in here for you but if you haven't seen these movies I highly suggest it they are totally excellent like I said um, anyone who's familiar with the Twilight Zone or Rod Serling's work uh, knows that Rod Serling does top-notch work and anything affiliated with him you know is gonna be really really good so I would highly suggest it the visuals are incredible a lot of the filming was done in California uh, budgeting was pretty good acting was superb and uh, it was a groundbreaking thing and it was also timely because if you realize uh, this being filmed back in 1968 we were still one year away from the whole lunar landing uh, which didn't happen until July of 1969 so it was very current it was very groundbreaking it was futuristic um, so I highly recommend it um, so to me Planet of the Apes four stars definitely watch it of course I'm talking about the original series hope you enjoy it um, and please have a great safe day the weather's getting beautiful now it's about 80 degrees right now so go out enjoy and have fun and I'll see you next time thank you once again really appreciate you subscribing and tuning in this is Al for Kindred Souls of Brooklyn have a wonderful day